Hey you! Do you can't get out without endangering everybody, but you still want to see something else besides your due to an old laptop dangerously smoke-filled office? Weirdly specific, but yes? Is the overall state of the world? <coughs> yeah. Then we have some good news for you. Yakuza 3's Digital Okinawa's waiting for you. And that's only for the low, low price of a console, Yakuza Remastered Collection, your fictional firstborn, and 104.2 pounds of popcorn kernels. To help you with this important investment decision, our digital travel agency has enlisted the help of Digital Okinawa Resident and winner of the 2006 Mate Pantomime Contest. Kiryu Kazuma to show you a plethora of highlights that make the digital trip worth it. Naturally, the main draw of this digital representation of a real island is the white and beautiful beach landscape right in front of you. That does not need more than PS3 graphics to make even professional sand haters want to watch these blue waters sway back and forth. Ah, feast your eyes, caress the grass that moves with the breeze, absorb the warm lighting. Harvest the treasures of the ocean. The skybox is so perfect, nature sees no need in moving it. And the wave sounds, the wave sounds so soothing. So not people screaming in agony. Just breathe in the fictional salt air and breathe out. And don't worry, this ocean even comes with high-tech child safety measures. But don't intrude on a beautiful sight or your ability to fish for native sea life. But with regards to those child safety measures... To comply with some pesky digital laws or something, we now have to inform you that this portion of the game may not please all existing Yakuza players, because this beautiful beach trip is not only a stark departure from the usual city, but also comes with... Uh, some enlightening responsibilities. Due to Kiryo being the owner of the title Goodest Boy TM, this vacation provides the for the video game landscape unique scenario of working in an orphanage. After booking this vacation package, you will spend your days being a night's emotional support for <coughs> sometimes sweet children. Only you can help them solve their personal issues in a heartwarming or not so heartwarming way and then relax while watching them play crap or something on the beach. I don't know what this is supposed to be. And in return, they will swallow down their embarrassment while you completely fail at baseball in front of them. Or bring curious after probably long years of therapy finally sober bingo golf addicted adoptive daughter to the mall. And here, we are very pleased to introduce you to a lovable walking crock everybody on this digital island seems to possess. Arms flying everywhere, uh, that's walking I guess, legs to presumably leg things on the moon or something, and no one judges anybody because everybody has those moments. Now being right outside of the orphanage, Kiryu, regular gold medalist and being the most supportive person on this island, will use any chance he gets to help locals and tourists. Yes, tourism was still a thing in 2009, with their vaguely personal problems as long as they seem to be at least a little weird. There are so many people in dire need of help in fact, that you regularly stumble into a poor soul in the midst of helping someone else. But be relieved, because both acquaintances will most likely throw you into delightfully interesting situations, true to the long-held tradition of the Yakuza series, with its beautiful quirkiness filling your sad soul with light! <laughs> this only gets accentuated by atmospheric and comedic usage of the game's dialogue system. Other interesting gameplay nuggets await the Yakuza custom tourist. Yakuza 3's Digital Okinawa offers you a rare glimpse into some infant game mechanics that would become more relevant later in the franchise. 
We at the Random Digital Vocation Company of course have analyzed this in the context of the Yakuza series by swearing to play the games in chronological order so the story can emotionally steamroll us just to then play Judgment and with regards to Judgment we have the debut of Finding Keys With Your Eyes and a running minigame but with slightly more violence. If we are already at the topic of violence this setting may be something different from the rest of the franchise, but of course it still attracts fighting encounters. Admittedly, the combat system here is still in its growing up phase, but in compensation it shines with little touches not seen nowadays like all those random enemies introductory and ending banter and the usage of adjectives to describe the winnings you of course relaxingly ripped out of her bloody hands. And yes. While most people on digital vacation may not consider this a positive, some will find stress relief in the fact that Kirio leaves the enemies of your peaceful stay and happiness or whatever a little bit more bloody behind than in the later games. When the attack stops spicing up your life, just listen to your inner tourist. The island will make everybody happy that likes fictional souvenir spending or stuffing their face with exactly one food item at the various restaurants. And you can of course visit the hostess clubs. Everyone desiring a glance behind the digital scenes can find themselves someone on the street. Name this hostess prodigy totally intentionally Kirko and dress them up as much as your fashion sense allows. Also at the hostess club. That by the way has really photogenic windows for those internet points. You can not only get your nostalgia fix by witnessing the PS3 interpretation of PS2 NPCs, those vertices, but extract extra amusement out of the best thoughts of digital desperation ever uttered in the good old fashion. A few blocks away you also always have catchy karaoke songs. That provides even escapism to capitalism criticism our times need. Unless it's about us. We don't count. Entertainment, however, does not limit itself to a simple place or activity, but spans the entire island. Because if you are lucky, you can witness over the top moments and even learn something. Perfect for blogging and getting even more of those sweet, sweet internet points. This excitement gets balanced out by equal amounts of realism on display. A little melody informs pedestrians when it's okay to cross the road. Kiyo can then live the dream of realistically slamming sad pedestrians to the ground. The drivers actually pay attention to and stop at traffic lights. Just like real life. Mostly. They even will honk at your decision to spend your entire weekend in front of their cars. Just a few meters away, the local stores come authentically with catchy background tunes and this realistic vacation setting well integrated product placements that other games can only envy and clerks adding some comments and unrealistic expectations to your weird buying habits. Realism, excitement, violence, oceans and this? Are uh, everything a good vacation needs? And if you are not convinced by all those things, that the investment in Yakuza 3 leads to a better experience, then. Uh, here, lightning round. This too damn smug animated senior. Duffs! 2009 things. Let's applaud Kirio for figuring out how to send emails. And for taking off his shoes before entering his orphanage, like every decent human being. This picture the children have drawn of him as a thank you for that. You can eat worms with expected results. This breath experiment was done in cooperation with local fictional science institutes. Don't try it at home. You can teach dog things. You can also get murder dolls from strangers. People sitting on pineapples. This impressive display of all brain and kick powers. This item name? Dialogue. That according to our studies conducted on all the cat appreciators the world still has left. Is without question 100% completely accurate. Don't fight us on that point. This out of context dialogue. Also this out of context. Actually everything out of context. 
this helpful neighbor giving information to that out of context problem? And don't forget to tune in next time when we follow Kyrgios return to the big city blocks of Kamarucho with a different kind of beautiful you, an Italian cat, revenge bar naming, a prototype of judgment stating missions that works as well as you expect, more learning, sassy phone gymnastics, an airbender and a lovely train ride. But until then, have as much fun as you can have with your miserable existence that does not pay us money or your regional equivalent while you are sitting in your smoke-filled room while the rest of the globe is magically still burning. And maybe, if you buy this game and find enough little, probably insignificant details, you perhaps also find happiness in your personal life or something along the way. I don't know. When, when not now, you have the chance to buy the possibility to at least try to catch small increments of serotonin. Just saying. Uh, boss, why are you playing Yakuza 3 right now? It's, it's not the right time to... What's the burning? Okay. I just wanted to ask about uh, the people that wanted to clean up the ashes j just arrived and uh, what are we supposed to do now? Just get out. I, I need to carry s some cones. Uh, don't you want to get Dropped out it again? Kyrio, we, we can do it. We get this ice cream to this poor family on this burning globe. Kyrio dropped it again. <laughs> Where is the serotonin that promised me? <sighs> the game it's, the, it's not the fault of the game, but I'm just unhappy. <sighs> <Can we leave? sighs> the fire got off. Oh, no! <laughs> uh, that's no! not how Colonels work.